Dimensional, a la Marisita Colors in English. Hello, my dear friends of Marisita Colors in English. Today I have a new crochet pattern. It's this beautiful sweater that I made with a nice fantasy stitch. The sweater is with off shoulder, but if you want a little more close the neck only, you join more the shoulders. Here down is the waistband or the part of the waist. It's very nice, this stitch. I use this fantasy stitch in my headband Ikita that you can find here in my channel Marisita Colors in English. Here I have 42 chains that made 7 groups of the fantasy stitch. Here is the neck. Here I join the shoulders. Both shoulders must have the same centimeters of join. Here is one lateral and the second lateral. And the fantasy stitch made that the sweater a little big. You don't must make so long or so wide. The thread is like this. I begin from down to up. So I made from lateral to lateral. Here is the beginning and the end is in the top. And I turn the thread. I will describe you how I made the sweater. Here I begin with 42 chains. That are seven groups of the fantasy stitch. So I make the thread to up. I made the white of my sweater. I turn and I, when I close, I finish the lateral of my sweater. Here is one of the shoulder and here is the second shoulder. And this is the neck. If you want your neck a little more close or closer, only you join more centimeters of the shoulders. I join 18 centimeters at the end in every shoulder. For the arm, I let 320 centimeters in every side. And from here to down, I join with the single crochet. I join the lateral, lateral. From wide, I made 61 centimeters of long. I made my sweater. This is a large size. So, the sweater is like this. You must make from the beginning the long from the neck until that you prefer to the waist or hips. If you want longer, only you make more centimeters in the beginning. If you want longer, your blouse or sweater. I try two or three times until to know where I want the long of my sweater. This fantasy stitch begins with 18 plus 6 chains. It's 24 that made 4 groups of the fantasy stitch. If you want longer your sweater, you must make always plus 6 chains. So 24 plus 6 is 30 chains, 5 groups. 30 plus 6, 36 chains, 
six groups. 36 plus 6 is 42, like my sweater, and here I have 7 groups of the fantasy stitch. You must make a little pattern and try how many centimeters you want from the neck to the long of your sweater. I will tell you how many centimeters I have here from the neck for to know the long of my sweater is approximately 40 centimeters. This is the yard that I use. It's from Tren de Coca Blend. It's 100% cotton. The yarn is Mercedes set. Mercerizado in Spanish, and I use the hook number 10 millimeters. I use altogether 200 grams of yarn. For joint the laterals, I use the hook number 4,50 millimeters, and we will need the scissors and a big needle for sew the shoulders. Here I let you a graphic of my sweater. I will make a little pattern with 30 chains. This is the way that I begin my chains. This sweater has 42 chains. I involve the hook to time the second pass for the first, yard over, and here I make the first chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty chains. This will be the long from the neck to the waist. We made the sweater to the long from lateral to to lateral. So it's from arm to arm. These 30 chains make approximately 30 centimeters. In 30 chain I must have Five groups of the fantasy stitch. Here I have 42 chains that made seven groups of the fantasy stitches. If I want to make longer my sweater, I must make six chains more. These six chains make one group more. I will begin with the fantasy stitch. I will make double crochet. That is vareta or punto alto en español. Yarn over and we insert the hook in the fourth chain. Here we insert. We bring the yarn. Yarn over. I pass for two loops. Yarn over. And I pass for the last two loops. This is the double crochet. The first chains are like the first double crochet. Yard over and we go into the next chain and we make another double crochet. I must make three double crochet. Yard over and into the next chain I make another double crochet. All together are like four double crochet. Three double crochet plus the chains. Every double crochet is one in every chain. Three chains of separation. And into the same stitch where is the last double crochet, I will make one single crochet. Medio punto en español. This is the first group of my fantasy stitch.
Now I will go into the next four chain and I will repeat three double crochet, one in every chain. This is the first, the second into the next chain, and the third into the next chain. Only into the edge I have four double crochet. After this always will be three double crochet. Again three chains of separation and one single crochet into the same stitch where is the last double crochet. And here we have two groups of the fantasy stitch. The 30 chains made 5 groups of the fantasy stitch. Into the next 4 chain we repeat the 3 double crochet. 1 in every chain. 1 2 and third double crochet, vareta or punto alto en español, cadeneta chain, three chains, tres cadenetas, and one single crochet into the same stitch where is the last double crochet. Now we have all the stitches, here I have three groups, like this I will continue until finish the row. Row hilera en español. Every four chains, I will repeat the three double crochet, three chains, and one single crochet. Here, almost I finish the row. I will make the third double crochet in the last stitch. Sometimes the last stitch close a little so we must to have or we must have a little careful. And here I make the last double crochet. Three chains of separation. Tres cadenetas de separación. And into the last double crochet we make one single crochet. Un medio punto en español. And we finish the row. If you make more chains in the beginning, you must make the same. And here we have five groups of the fantasy stitch. For begin the next row. We make three chains like the first double crochet. We turn the crochet work and we will find the first arc where we will repeat the same stitches. I will make three double crochet. Tres varetas en español. Three chains of separation, tres cadenetas de separación, and one single crochet into the same arc. And we made the first group of the second row. Now we pass this double crochet of, of the previous row and we looking for the chains, the three chains of the previous row. In every arc of the chains of the previous row, we must repeat the three double crochet, three chains, and one single crochet. This sweater has not increases or decreases. We must make only two pieces the same, with the same chains and the same rows. 
And now I have the two groups of the fantasy stitch. If I have five groups in the first row, in every row I must have the same number of the groups of the fantasy stitch. Again, we pass this double crochet and I find the three chains of the previous row, the another three chains and the last three chains. In these arcs of the three chains we will make the groups of the fantasy stitch. When the yarn of the begin is in the right side, for me this is the front of my work. So we go into the next arc of the three chains and I will make the three double crochet, three chains and one single crochet. So now we repeat all the stitches into the same arcs of the three chains of the previous row. I find the last arc of the three chains of the previous row. I must pass this double crochet and here I must make the three double crochet, the last group. This is the five group. Here I make the last double crochet, three chains, tres cadenetas, and one single crochet into the same arc, en el mismo arco. And here we find the last group of the previous row. We don't make stitches in this group. So here in the second row, I have again five groups. One, two, three, four and five. For begin the third row we make the three chains like the first double crochet. We turn the crochet work and into the first arc I make the three double crochet, three chains and one single crochet all into the same Here the first chain of the beginning is like one double crochet, so here is like I have four double crochet. It's only in the beginning of every row that I make this, that we have the four double crochet. So now in every arc of the three chains of the previous row, you must make the fantasy stitch. This is the second third, four and five groups. I will finish this row and I will show you in my sweater how I finish the thread. So I pass this double crochet and I find the arc of the three chains where I will begin to make the three double crochet, three chains and one single crochet. So now we have all the stitches. You must repeat until half the long of the white of your blouse or sweater that you prefer. You can make this sweater with all the yarns and hook that you prefer. This is the stitch, the fantasy stitch of my headband Ikita that you find here in my channel Maricita Colors in English. And look. So now I will show you how I close one of the pieces of my sweater. You must make two pieces the same. Here almost I finish the row, the last row of my sweater. You must make the two pieces the same chains and the same number of rows. Here I will make the last group of the fantasy stitch. Here I have seven groups in every row.
For close, I only will pass the yarn into the last stitch. I cut the yarn and I finish to pass the yarn into the last stitch. And I push a little for that my work is uniform. Now I will count the rows for to know how many rows has my sweater. This is the first, second, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20 rows. So here I have 20 rows in my sweater. This is the yarn of the beginning, so this is the front of my work. The sweater I made from here, from down. Here I have the seven groups of the fantasy stitch in every row. That is, oh, this is for that my work is uniform. Here I use 100 grams of this yarn. Every yarn has 50 grams. The front and the back, you must make the same. We turn the sweater, remember. We must turn the thread. Like this, we made. This is a yarn of the end of my sweater. So we turn and the begin is one lateral or the arm and here will be the shoulder. And in the another part, in the another lateral will be the arm too. When we have the two pieces the same, we must sew. Here I have the second piece of my sweater. You must recognize where is the front of your work. So, this is the front of my work and I must join front with front. I turn here for make front in front. And here is one of the laterals, where is the arm, and this is the another lateral. From the edge of the shoulder, this is the shoulder I must see here, and I will let 20 centimeters free for the arm. Here, I will make a mark for to know where are the 20 centimeters. Here I let the 20 centimeters for the arm and from here I must join until the waist. Look, the borders of this fantasy stitch will make very nice the waist of our sweater. Here I will use the hook number 4,50 millimeters for make the single crochet front in front. I try to make edge with edge. I insert the hook in the edge and in front we try to make two in the edge. I bring the yarn, I make one chain and another chain. The first chain is off join and the second is the first single crochet. And from in front we insert the hook and we make the single crochet. 
So we try to enter a little stitches, not in the big, and we make the single crochet. So like this I will join until that I find the mark of the 20 centimeters of the arm. Remember that you must let the 20 centimeters for the arm in every lateral. You must make the same. Here almost I finish to join the lateral. And here I find the mark of the 20 centimeters of the arm. So I make out because it's ready. And from in front, I make the single crochet, punto medio en español. And look, I don't enter in this big space. I enter into the little stitches. And look, the single crochet is very nice. I will join one a stitch more with the single crochet. And here I pass a yarn. I cut the yarn and I finish to pass the yarn into the last stitch. And we join one of the laterals of our sweater. Here is the 20 centimeters of the arm. And here I will join the shoulder. Here I join one of the shoulders. Look, the thread is very nice. I made with the needle for sew the yarn. This is the single crochet. So now with the big needle, I will join the shoulder. If you want a neck not so big, you must close more centimeters in the shoulder. If you want a off shoulder, you must let more space in the center. So here I will sew front in front. We must try that the borders coincide.
almost I finish to join front in front of our shoulder. So here, when you see that your yarn is secure, you can cut. And ready. It's very nice, the join. This is one of the shoulders. And this is the another shoulder. Here I finish to sew the another lateral. I let free the 20 centimeters for the arm. And look, the single crochet make very nice over thread. Here you can see the 20 centimeters of the arm. For close the thread, I only pass the last the yarn into the last stitch we cut and I finish to pass the yarn into the stitch. And the yarn you must sew inside of this single crochet. And we have ready our beautiful sweater with this nice fantasy stitch. This is the reverse, so I will turn the sweater. You will see better in the photos and videos that I made for show you the sweater. The stitch, the fantasy stitch is very nice. I want to invite you to subscribe here in my channel Maricita Colors in English. It's total free. Remember activate the bell for that you receive the post when I have a new video here in my channel. You can find me too in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest. And if you like this video, you can give one like and share it with your family and friends. Thank you very much to all the persons that watch my videos and write me. And we see us in my next crochet or knitting pattern. Ciao, ciao.